American Financing, saving homeowners over 800 bucks every month by using your home's equity to pay off high interest debt. American Financing, America's home for home loans. AmericanFinancing.net slash progress. Hi, this is Stephanie Miller from The Stephanie Miller Show. Please enjoy this exclusive clip from my show on Political Voices Network. Okay, it's just gotten laughable. Trump tweeted, my administration will be great for women and their reproductive rights. (laughs) Don't worry, kids. (laughs) T-Pain said uh, there won't be any reproductive rights to worry about, ladies. Yes, they'll they'll be gone. Like, yes, most people, they're things that are dead. They're in a better place. Ladies, your reproductive rights are in a better place now. They've been taken to a farm upstate where they could run free. They're running free. Your reproductive rights are running free on a a farm upstate. (laughs) I mean, if they can make it more insulting, like we're stupid, right? Like I'll be. Gr- How would you be great? We don't have any more reproductive points. What do you mean? You'd be okay. All right. Uh, can I just say, uh, Carrie Kennedy, bless her. <sighs> this was their uh, the Kennedy family statement. We want an America filled with hope and bound together by a shared vision of a brighter future, a future defined by individual freedom, economic promise, and national pride. We believe in Harrison Walls. Our brother Bobby's decision to endorse Trump today is a betrayal of the values that our father and our family hold most dear. It is a sad ending to a sad story. And it's signed by every member of the Kennedy family. It, it I, I've... Let's just say as someone that has known sibling pain, I just, I feel their pain and everybody that knew Bobby when he appeared to be sane, including me, that just, this is, this was just including sad. Cheryl Hines. It's not. Oh his, no, she's still supporting him big oh, time. God. It's not just his voice. It's that, that he's completely delusional. He's like I'm suspending my campaign, but I'm not ending it and I could still win. I'm like, oh my God, please get this guy for some help. He needs help. Um, yeah, this is cut. Uh, Seven. Seven. Mm-hmm. I want everyone to know that I am not terminating my campaign. I am simply suspending it and not not ending it. My name will remain on the ballot in most states. Oh, I encourage you to vote for me. Oh, and if enough of you do vote for me, and neither of the major party candidates win 270 votes, I could conceivably still end up in the White House in a contingent election. Also, campaign okay, finance. Okay, yeah. um, I mean, seriously, yeah. I, I'm endorsing Donald Trump, but I could still win. I mean, he's yeah. just out of his nuts. Right. mind. Uh, campaign finance laws also dictate that that uh, candidates suspend their campaign. Um, instead of end their campaign. Otherwise, I think they have to give back the money. Yes, I think so. Yeah. And so everybody suspends their campaign. It's not unusual. It shows what a giant grift this was from the beginning, that it was all funded by, you know, Mm -hmm. Trump. I mean, the same guy that gave the most money to Trump gave the most money to him. It clearly... And so then when the polling started showing it might hurt hurt Trump more, he got... I mean, it's just... This is... Okay. This is uh, Kerry Kennedy. If my father were alive today, he would detest almost everything Donald Trump represents. His lying, his selfishness, his rage, his cynicism, his hatred, his racism, his fascist sympathies, his deliberate misinformation about vaccines, his criminal felony convictions, his contempt for the poor and suffering, for ethics, for democracy, and for healing, and his cruel, sneering, at human rights for suffering people in America and around the world, which is the cause that so moved and motivated uh, my father. Um, so I'm outraged and disgusted by my brother's gaudy and obscene embrace of Donald Trump. There you go. Yeah. She also has that vocal thing that he has. Yeah, he yeah, hear it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's uh, Trump. Have they have the same billionaire mega donor uh, who pumped over 165 million into the 2024 campaign? Timothy Mellon. Um, it, he pumped all of this money into uh, Trump and Kennedy. Uh, it, it always was just to hurt the Democrats and to help Donald Trump. And so it's just it's so pathetic the whole thing. This one, uh, Nate Silver, a new model, model release by Nate Silver shows it barely makes any difference. Which, and by the way, it makes me think even more about Kamala Harris, if that's possible. Right. That she told him to go pound sand. Yeah. <laughs> right. He's like, she wouldn't even speak to me. Good. 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 It shows she has good. good judgment. Can you imagine he's trying to get a, you know, Trump administration role? They say no. So he crawls over to Kamala's campaign to try to talk to her. They tell him pound sand they and then he endorses. Me. I mean, it's so sad. 
Um, he uh, Nate Silver uh, uh, Kennedy was polling at around five percent when he dropped out. He said uh, the the election has shifted in favor of Harris. He said we removed RFK Jr. from our model, but it didn't hurt Kamala. Um, Ted Lieu said translation JFK Jr. RFK Jr. is irrelevant and weird. <laughs> <laughs> he Thank is. You, Ted Lieu. Yeah, if Trump didn't quite have the weird, rich, white guy, narcissist, <laughs> conspiracy theorist, lunatic base nailed down. There you go. That's what that's for. Um, all right. Hold my bear cub. Stop that. All right. Fine. fine. All right. Oh, by the way, uh, Kristen Welker, did she almost bowl her? But almost. not quite. She was this close. Mm. Okay. Was I was close. missing very much. Eric Bowler, Joe Madison this week. Yeah. Right? Joe Madison used to say that. What are you going to do about it? Right? It's uh, a lot of people I wish were there with us. But anyway, she was trying to, she to tried. with J.D. Vance. She okay. tried. Uh, eight, uh, 14. 14. Nah. The Census Bureau estimates there are 22 million women between the ages of 20 and 40 who, for whatever reason, do not have children. What do you say to those women who hear some of your comments, including the childless cat lady comments, which you've been asked about, but who feel as though you won't represent them? Well, I'd say, first of all, I will represent you. I want to be the vice president for the whole country, and I want to mm-hmm. represent mm-hmm. everybody. Mm-hmm. And yes, I made a sarcastic comment years ago that mm-hmm. I think that a lot of Democrats have willfully misinterpreted. No, 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 no. no. You said what you said. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think if you talk to young women, whether they have children or don't want, want to have children, uh, what you consistently hear is that a lot of young women feel like they don't have options. I saw this with my own wife, who's what? a working mother, who's a very, very accomplished litigator. She has three beautiful kids. She has three beautiful kids. He doesn't, apparently. She does. I see. He just <laughs> he just can't. He makes everything worse, right? Mm-hmm. It's like, yes, she's not white. I, I like her anyway. She's okay. What? No. Yeah, that she's not white. No. Given that people have told you directly, have spoken out, have said that they were offended, they were hurt by those comments, do you wish you never made those childless cat lady comments? I think that it's much more important for me to just be a normal human being who sometimes says so things no that people disagree with. I have a lot of regrets, Kristen, but making a joke three years ago is not at the top ten of the list. That's a joke? Yeah. It was a joke? That's what he oh, says. I see. He's I being see. sarcastic. Jokes are joke. supposed to be funny. Right. By the way, we have uh, childless dog ladies, cat ladies. Cat Daddy's Dog Daddy T-shirts at stephaniemiller.com. We have all, I've, I have a whole week's full of shirts. I, they just came while I was gone, Chris. Oh. My Kamalot, my Carmela, my uh, uh, Say It to My Face. What else do we have up? I can't remember. Lots. Oh, Chris is wrong. You got to get one of those. Chris is right. Is outselling Chris is wrong. Oh, shut up. I wish that you were wrong about that. I'm not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Adam Kinzinger said if Donald Trump had been on the Titanic, he would have been scrambling to find women's clothing to put on and escape before yep. everyone else. Thank you. Amen. That's why, right, he played the Trump-tanic song at his rally. It was weird. It was Even weird. Dion is like, what's up, weirdo? That song? Of all songs. <laughs> By the way, speaking of the mainstream media, Brett, our friend at Midas Touch, uh-huh. tweeted, breaking exclusive, Trump voter on CNN's undecided panel uh, says the network knew he was backing Trump all along and had him appear as an undecided voter anyway. Yep. People, I feel like, are just so done with the mainstream media and their framing of this and their spin of things. Like, I was mentioning last hour the New York Times headline, like, joy's not a strategy. It's like, oh, shut up. This, if anything came out of last week, it is, they will not take our joy. Right. <laughs> they will not snatch our joy from us. No. It is a powerful, powerful force. Uh, yeah. How's your big advice? Um, oh, Peggy Noonan. Uh, the, oh, the Chardonnay Canaries were hung over. They were not happy. She said they stole traditional Republican themes. Oh, should I do this for Oh, now? Brian Kilmeade was, was whining about oh, was that Oh, was he the one morning. whining about it? Oh, okay. Yes. Mm. Just stole it from mm. Trump. Mm. He mm. called mm. it theft. Mm. 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 Oh, pardon me. I'll go back to it. They stole traditional Republican themes, faith, patriotism, and claim them as their own. Because that's just a Republican thing? Right. No, it's never been just a Republican thing, but they think it is. Also impressive was the degree to which they cast a magic conjuring sorcery spell in which viewers got the feeling that the whole purpose of the Democratic Party is to break away from a grim and doom-laden reigning regime. Well. Yes. Yeah. Yes, Peggy. (laughs) Yes. When they've been in charge for three and a half years. Right. But we're not going back to Trump Thank <laughs> before you. that and the hate and the fear and the exactly. divisiveness. Oh, good God. Yeah, David Corn said stole. No one has an exclusive claim to patriotism. Right. I mean, 
mean, it's hilarious. That's right? the cartoon that the right has painted about the left. I mean, I. American financing saving homeowners over 800 bucks every month by using your home's equity to pay off high interest debt. American financing, America's home for home loans. AmericanFinancing.net slash progress. 